Welcome to the channel everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use wireless Android Auto on your aftermarket Android head unit. So if you have an aftermarket Android head unit like I have here and you don't have the inbuilt wireless Android Auto, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now first of all you need this app which is called Head Unit Reloaded. So if you don't have it installed then you probably have to go to the Play Store and then download that app. It is called Head Unit Reloaded. There's the part that you have to do on the cell phone. So you pick your cell phone and then navigate to the Google Play Store. You open Play Store and then you look for Wi-Fi launcher. When you tap Wi-Fi launcher you would see this one. This particular one here. You install it by B3IT. You install this one. I already have it installed. So once you have it installed you can open it and it will ask you for some permissions. You have to permit or allow all those permissions. Now inside the app you see where it says wireless and it says car display Wi-Fi name, car display Wi-Fi password. So at this point what we are going to do is to go on the car settings, go here settings to Android settings, go to settings, um, network and internet, hotspot and tethering and then click on Wi-Fi hotspot. So at this point you have to set up your Wi-Fi hotspot. Now in here it tells you car display Wi-Fi name is HUR and then car display Wi-Fi password, Android Auto Connect. You can use the same thing in there. Like so, in this particular case, I have um, entered those details, HUR, and then the password as the one showing on the cell phone in the wireless um, Wi-Fi launcher app. So once you set that up, you click on Save and then you have to now turn on your hotspot you go on your phone into and then you look for this wireless wi-fi network it says hur connected without internet that's exactly what is going to happen so leave it there it means you're already connected so go back all the way back to head unit reloaded and then now we are going to go into settings and then go to connectivity tap on connectivity and then where it says to listen for incoming connections you enable that and then you go back back now it tells you that it's listening for incoming connections so once you have this listening for incoming connections open Wi-Fi launcher and then service is not running so scroll down and start Wi-Fi service manually once you start it the wireless Android Auto also shows up to show you that indeed it's wireless this is the phone it's not plugged in or anything it's running wirelessly but then one other thing is when you do this you're you are connected to Wi-Fi but you don't have internet service so go back into your settings and then go to connections and then go to data usage and then go to mobile data only apps and then enable the apps that you want to use mobile data if your mobile data is not working automatically a lot of times it should work by itself but if it doesn't then you have to come here and use those 
apps, there are some phones that would allow you to turn mobile data only on or off, but this one doesn't have it. You have to turn it for each um, app individually. So you come in and whichever apps that are probably not working and you need the internet, you turn those on and that is just about it. Try it and let me know. I know it should be able to work for you. If you found any value in this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on any of those little tips and tricks that I show you on here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.